everyone. Welcome back to Fluid Arts by Elsa. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Today is our final piece for the Red Bay series and we want to complete this series with a little different size canvas. So we're going to go a little larger tonight. We are working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas, which as you know, I already have ready here and yes my size are already covered i have it prepped so what we're going to be doing is i am going to be flooding my canvas once again yes with the red base to finish off going big or going home but i'm glad you guys are here with me so we're gonna go big together thank you for your support in watching my channel Tonight, I am going to be working on a flip cup dirty pour. And I'm going to be filling up two cups. I am going to walk you through the process. We are going to play on this canvas and see how this turns out. I can't wait to see this. So, come on, meet me at the canvas. So, here we are. And we are going to begin by flooding our canvas. Okay, so we're gonna give this paint a shake. And we are gonna be using to flood our canvas the Flow Acrylic Red that I already mixed with my pouring medium. So Flow Acrylic Red by Artist Loft. I don't want to put too much paint down. I think that's enough. And we're going to give it a quick torch. Okay. The bubbles will continue to come up to the surface. That's okay. We are gonna spread it out with my travel size hair dryer. is spread out now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I cover my sides so I'm gonna come around the side there to cover my sides on your side first So right over here, and you can pick up the paint that has dripped onto our table here. Right there, just like that. Around. 
and continue to cover my sides. There we are, almost done here. Just make sure you take care of your sides. You can always come back and fix this some more at the end. I just want to make sure everything is covered just like that. Okay, so we are good here. Now I'm going to show you, let me, I'm going to pop the bubbles one more time because I see everything surfacing now. I want to make sure you pop those bubbles. Know how this is going to turn out but I'm hoping it turns out pretty so I have two cups here they're about four ounces I would say and I'm going to layer my paints on each one of them the same way the colors I am going to be using starting off with dioxazine purple by Liquitex Basics And I'm going to show you how I layer my paints. So I just drip it down the side of the cup. Just like that. See that? And I'm going to do the same on the other cup. So I'm just going to layer that. Next color we're using Pearl Lime Green by Arteza. Look how beautiful that color is. And again, we are going to drip it down the side of the cup. As you can see here. Beautiful color. Okay. I do the same thing on the next cup. Just layer it down the side. I don't want it to be too much paint. Okay. Next, we are layering metallic red by Artist Loft. You can see my colors there. Next we have Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. So again, we're gonna layer it down the side. I'm going to give this a little more of a shake here. I'm going to do the same over here. There. There. Okay. Next, we have Iridescent Silver by Pebel. And same thing, okay? We're layering our paints on the side here, just like that. See? So 
there are my two cups and finally we have festive red by deco art and this one i do want to squeeze straight in so it can mix the colors through hopefully it does so just like that and i'm going to do the same thing on this cup just straight through it just to see if it mixes the colors together okay so there we have our two cups let me take a look at this i do see a couple of okay so there we have that that's I do have to torch it a little more once again. I do see something in here I need to remove. Okay. And most of this paint is going to really go off the canvas. So now I'm thinking, where do I want to flip the cup? So I am going to flip right over here. Just like that. And just let it sit there. And my next one, I'm going to come around and I'm going to flip it right over here. Okay? Just like that. And I'm just gonna let it, let those paints mix. So if I open this one up this way, I can open up that one that way. Okay, that works. Or I can flip out that way, flip out this way. What do you think, guys? Or just over and over. I think I'll do over and over. Okay, here we go. There you go. Look how beautiful. You can see that, those colors in the cup. All right. And this one we're gonna flip over that way. So let's see. I'm gonna come around this way, guys. Just like that. And now we're just gonna let it We are going to let it develop a little bit here. Those cups, I wash and I reuse them. I'm going to pop those bubbles. And then we'll tilt just to see what we get or how. You're going to tilt it slowly. I'm going to go that way, a little over this way, nice and slow. I just want to get it off the canvas on that corner there. Let it run off right there. Okay, bring it back. Okay. That's good. And now, I do want to go a little to this corner. Let's see. This way. like that bring it back over and 
is so slow. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna turn it around only because I wanna get to this side here and let you guys see what I'm doing. So here, because I wanna get this side off, then stretch it on that way. So let's go, let's see what happens here. So we're gonna go that way. Nice and slow. Bring it back. Nice and slow. I do want to get that corner off so I can pop it. So beautiful. I love it. All right. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit only because I want to bring this corner out too. I am going to come around this way. Great, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I like what I see. Okay. There we have that. Beautiful. Okay, I am super happy 
with how that looks wait until i show you so here is the wet result i am in love with this piece it is absolutely beautiful take a look i added that gold but take a look at this this is the negative space i wanted take a look at that look how that blue outlined the red in there the clusters of cells the colors the red popping through absolutely an amazing piece look at this check that out look at the ridges the lines there how it breaks it up in red and blue is so beautiful it's stunning and this center i went in with my palette knife and i connected the two just to kind of give it like a, a better definition i guess and connect the two pieces there look at the silver by deco art isn't that beautiful look at that look how beautiful i'm in love with it i am glad this worked out the piece is amazing i will show you this painting once it has been dried and resined i hope you like it that you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel and tell me what you think do you like it do you like the colors i love it there it is